What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to have another Funimate and YouTube tutorial. In this video I will be showing you and teaching you how to make a YouTube intro with Funimate. If you're new to my channel, I'm Ariane on Funimate. Okay, so before we start editing, let's get our main background first and we will be using PexArt for that. Click on that purple plus, go to all photos and click background, then you want to pick that transparent one click on stickers and then just look up any kind of background of your choice i chose vintage background and i found this vintage visco kind of background once you've picked your background click save and download your photo then we can start editing Once you get to this point, pick your background and we will be using landscape since it's a YouTube intro. Once you've made adjustments, click on that song icon and pick your song. I found my song on Instagram. You can literally find your songs on YouTube, Instagram, and even you can Google it. But this is the song or the background music that I found. Alright, so depending on the music or the sound that you picked, you want to adjust the duration of your main background to where beats end or anywhere of your liking. And in my case, I ended mine to where there was a beat drop. And as you can see over here, I flipped my background because having the wavy lines on top kind of look weird to me. Just my opinion, I guess. So I flipped it, having it at the bottom. So now that I have my background to where I want it, I added some images of me. What I'm doing over here is just adjusting and cropping the photos to where you can actually see my face. But if you don't know how to crop pictures on Funimate, I will walk you through it. If you click on the pictures, you will have the option crop. I'm going to add an effect between the picture and the background. I use some pro stuff, but if you don't have pro, you can replace it with non-pro effects. It will equally look the same. All I'm doing now is basically adding some more pictures, so I'm just going to speed right through it. That is all the pictures we are going to add for now, but we will come back later. So then we are going to edit and put some stuff on our main background. First thing I'm putting is my name. And I use this font. You can use any font of your liking. Now that I'm finished with that, I'm going to add an intro to both of my first and last name. And I use basic, I know this is not pro, so you're good on that, if you're not pro.
and for my last name, I'm basically adding the same effect, except it's going the opposite direction. Now, I'm just adding the words don't forget to. I'm having them come in at different times depending on where there's rhythm or beat, whatever you call it. I'm not a music expert, so if it's actually rhythm or beat, comment down below. Now I'm adding the word subscribe, and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Now to get my subscribe stickers, I'm going to PixArt. I looked up subscribe, basically. I found this, then I saved it and downloaded it to my photos. Then I went to Pixart again to get more stickers. Now that I have all my pictures, I'm going back to Funimate and place them into the video. Now that I'm done with that sticker, I'm going to add my second one, which is this one, the sticker that pops up after you subscribe to a channel. But the sticker that I picked kind of looked big, so I cropped it out. All I'm doing here is just adjusting the timings or durations of the stickers. Once you're done with that, let's add our third image, which is this mouse cursor. You want to put it between the first and second sticker so that it looks like you are clicking the subscribe button. Now to make it move, let's use custom and position. So first, of course, let's add our main point. And to add your second point, just move your cursor to the subscribe button. We want it to go back, so just basically add your third point by pulling down that cursor. The second thing I put is like. After I had that place, I added the approved hand emoji. So the next thing I was going to add is hit that notification bell below, but I did not have enough room, so I added moi instead. It's kind of cheesy, but I'm a cheesy person, so. But this is just an example, so you can put anything on your intro. Now to finish where I left off, I'm going to be adding more pictures.
this is totally optional well all of it is optional but i'm going to be adding a minimal effect on my photos so i went to gif and looked up minimal so i placed minimal to fill up my whole page then i clicked on blend and added add effect now to give more of that softy vibe i added a filter I will not be adding the full sound because of copyright reasons, so if you want to check it out, go to my Fenome account and I will upload it there. And that was the finished product. I know that was very simple, but that was just an example. On yours, you can totally change it up. You can add more photos or add more effects. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Oh, and if you made it this far, please comment down your Funimate username and I will give you a shout out on my next video. Bye!